You're watching Jay's Two Cents YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you all about my PC setup. One of the most common questions that I'm actually asked is, why did you go with AMD? One of the reasons I went with AMD had to do with cost to performance ratio. There are a lot of Intel products out there that are in the same price range as the processor I particularly went with. However, I do make use of the extra cores of the 8-core processor. My live stream, for instance, uses every single core available. In the same price bracket with Intel was the 2500K. It didn't have the same type of full threaded needs that I need when it comes to Photoshop and Vegas and After Effects and all of the other video encoding software that I actually use. So that's the reason why I actually went with AMD. When it comes to gaming, I actually chose to go with the NVIDIA GTX 680. Mine happens to be an actual MSI brand, but it is a reference card. Therefore, there's no real difference between any other reference card. Motherboard wise, I'm actually rocking an Asus ROG Republic of Gamers Crosshair 5 formula motherboard. I chose this board because of its many onboard features including its incredible overclocking ability. The actual built-in utilities for overclocking on this motherboard are incredible. Everything that you could imagine that you need to adjust is available. BIOS is completely unlocked. You can do everything you want with it and it comes with a removable BIOS chip. So if I want to get multiple chips and I want to play with various different setups, I can actually plug in a different chip if I want. Or of course I can just set up an actual profile and I can load different profiles at different times based on different scenarios. This can be done either through the BIOS or it can actually be done in real time through software provided with the motherboard. Memory wise I'm running 16 gigabytes of 1866 Patriot Extreme memory. It's lightning fast memory. It's very overclockable. I am actually not overclocking my memory as it hinders some of my overclocking abilities of my processor. Processor I'm running an FX8120 8 core bulldozer processor. The overclocking ability of this chip is actually quite amazing. I easily reached 5 gigahertz, didn't take much tuning at all. On water cooling it was quite simple, stayed well within thermal range. There was no worries whatsoever when it came to temperatures. I did tune it back a little bit to 4.8 gigahertz though as I didn't like to in the summertime get anywhere near my temperature threshold so in the winter time I'll probably bump it back up to 5.0 maybe even 5.2. My graphics card is actually overclocked to 1.3 gigahertz. It is a 1.052. It is a 1052 megahertz stock clock on that so you can see it does have quite a bit of an overclock. I did see quite an improvement going from the stock speeds to the 1.3 gigahertz both in gaming and synthetic benchmarks. Hard drive wise I do actually have four hard drives in this machine. My operating system hard drive is an M4 crucial SSD solid state drive 128 gigabyte capacity. I do keep a couple of my favorite games on the SSD so loading times are reduced. For instance Battlefield 3 is running on my SSD and I do load a map on average in about 10 seconds. When I had Battlefield 3 on my mechanical drive it was taking upwards of a minute to two minutes to load a map. Case wise I'm running an NZXT Switch 810 full tower case. It's the white edition. I love the white. Not only only because I think it's stylish but because it doesn't show the dust nearly as bad. It's got a very smooth finish on the powder coating, very easy to dust, dust doesn't stick to it, you can clean it very easily and uh, I do definitely recommend this case. Very cheap when it comes to the amount of features that you get with it. Alright so here she is. One of my favorite features regarding this case right off the bat is the way that the side panel actually comes off. So you have the two screws on the side right here. You have this third one in the middle here. You loosen that and it actually moves up and down on a spring. So the case can't, side can't come off unless you actually push down on that and pull it out. So on the inside here we have my lower double 120 millimeter radiator. Up top we have the triple up here, the white phaser tubing, the MCP 655 variable speed pump, the EK water block on my graphics card right here, and the XSPC water block for the CPU. I do have a fan right here that can be angled. This is pulling air in from the front of the case as well as two fans on the front of the case right here, right here. These are 140 millimeter fans. The fans on the radiators are 120 millimeter. I have a 140 on the back actually pulling air into the case. These fans are actually pulling so much air through the top that I actually had to balance out the air coming into the front and the rear of the case otherwise I was getting negative pressure issues which are no good. Swift Tech Reservoir right here. One of the cool things about this particular motherboard is the fact that it does have these buttons down here in the bottom that you may see. 
We have an overclocking button, a start button, and a reset button. So if you were doing some work on this on a bench and you didn't actually have the buttons on the case, you know, because you had it out of your case and you were working on it, you could actually start your computer simply by pushing that start button. As you can see up here on the top, I do have a white LED strip lighting up the white interior of the case. Go ahead and let this thing start up so you can hear the noise level. Quite a bit of air moving through here. What you hear right here, the fan's actually at 100%. The fans are software controlled. So once Windows starts up, you will notice that the fans will actually slow down as the software kicks in and realizes that the temperatures are nowhere near the threshold where I have the temperature set to, so they'll slow down. What this also means is that when I start gaming or I do something intensive, the fans will ramp up to pull more air through. And there you go. The fans just slow down to roughly 60% speed. Nothing more than that is actually necessary. See if we can't do this a little bit of MTB crib style, since now we're in my game room, my, my little man cave here. We've got our Gears of War posters right here, showing our love for Gears of War. Yes, I did own a console. I did play console games for years. I am not strictly a PC gamer, I just simply do not own a console right now. And right here we got our Call of Duty Black Ops poster. Got to show the love for Call of Duty Black Ops, especially the Black Ops 2 launch coming right around the corner. I do love me some Black Ops. I did play Black Ops on the console. Got my 32 inch TV so I can keep current on my stories, on my shows while I'm gaming. Got my Gamer Fuel, Arnold Palmer. Got the iPhone. Got the Razer Black Widow mechanical keyboard. Loudest keyboard in the world. With those mechanical blue switches right there. Got my 27 inch Asus monitor. Notice it's floating. It's sitting on a monitor arm right there. So I can move this puppy around however I want. Really easy. Up, down, in, out, tilt. Since I'm a PC gamer, what kind of mouse do you use? I was actually asked that in the stream last night. What do you use for a mouse? There it is right there. MX18. Laser mouse. Boom. Nothing special. It's comfortable. I like it. Been using it for years. Got my monitor here for the stream. When I'm streaming, gotta see what you guys are saying. See what you guys are saying about me. See how you guys are roasting me. There it is, right there. That's where it all happens. Got the joystick. Don't really use it too much anymore. Don't fly jets no more. I do all my flying on the mouse. Got my G930 wireless headphones right there. It's actually a gift from my pops. And as you guys already saw, we got the monster rig right here. Look at that, in all her glory. Beautiful, beautiful computer. One of the best builds I've done in a long time. The captain's chair. Look at that. Leather, huge, huge like me. There you go. Now before we get out of here, I'd like to leave you with one of my favorite clips from a recent live stream I did on Twitch.tv. Hope you enjoy. Hey, Mark, yo. I'm a revive troll. I heard it. I heard it go off too. Yay! I love getting small kills. Two in a row. Any more? Any more, you suckers? Yay! Three small kills in a row. <laughs> Come on, I know there's more, y'all. Four small kills in a row. <laughs> this is small madness! Oh my god! Five small kills in a row. Yay! It's like Metro. <laughs> <laughs> I got a triple kill. I got a triple kill. I'm all out of smas. I need ammo, quick. I'm on a roll here.